we're off and we're ready to go. So everybody, welcome to Monday morning. Here we are. My name is Lisa Breezy, exercise physiologist, wellness heart coach, and founder of State of the Heart Fitness. And I'm excited to have you all here, those of you who are here live and those who will watch it later in the recording. Welcome. If you're, it's your first time, Thank you for being here. If it's your, if you've been showing up every day, thank you for being here. I'm excited to have you all. So today is movement, mindfulness, and meditation. It's 45 minutes. The rest of the classes during the week are 30 minutes. Tomorrow is getting to the core, abs and back. Wednesday is full body stretch. Thursday is strength and balance. And Friday is progressive relaxation. So Today we will be doing 45 minutes of movement, mindfulness, and meditation. We start with a little meditation to center and ground ourselves. Then we do some stretching and some strengthening, and then we end with a little meditation. So as I always say, listen to your body. Your body always tells you what it can and cannot do. If something doesn't quite feel right, listen to that, honor that, honor that, and uh, join in when you can. All right, and um, it looks like we're ready to go. So let's, if you have, a pillow if you're going to be sitting on the floor or you can also sit on the chair but um, you want to make sure that you're comfortable because we're going to be starting in a seated position so everybody assume their positions and we will get started here let's get our music going all right so sitting with those legs crossed or however feels right to you your back is tall and I want you to close your eyes so we decrease the stimulation to our brain, to our mind, and we allow ourselves to tune into the body. And let's just take our hands to the heart. First, let's just rub those hands. We're going to feel a little energy, a little heat in those hands. And then let's press those thumbs into the sternum, into that heart. Shoulders again, relax, your back is tall. Bring those shoulder blades together, your heart is forward. And let's just go ahead and start to breathe slowly and deeply through the nose. As you follow that breath down deep into the lungs, feel the rib cage expand as you breathe in. And as you breathe out slowly, Follow the breath back out through the nose. So just slowing down everything as you focus on that breath. The breath is like an internal massage. It is the bridge between our mind and our body. So much of our day, of our life, we spend in our heads, in our mind, busy, 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 in worry, in fear. But this is tuning in to the quiet place within. Take that breath deep into those lungs. Feel the expansion of that rib cage. Hold the breath there for a moment. Feel the energy. And as you exhale, slowly follow that breath back out through the nose, letting go of any tension in your face, your jaw, your neck, your shoulders, your back. Just slowing it all down, taking that next deep breath into your heart space. Finding that quiet place deep inside, that place of inner stillness. That place of silence. A place of peace. As we ground ourselves into the earth, into our heart, into our soul. And just a reminder that this calm, quiet place always exists within us, no matter how crazy the world can get around us. We can always tune into this place just by focusing on deep, slow breaths. And as you breathe deep into that heart, 
Let's breathe in some gratitude for this moment and how blessed we are to have this moment, the only moment we have. Let's breathe in some gratitude for our amazing body. Something that we take for granted every single day. Let's just send our body some love and some light. And I want you to imagine that love and light going to every cell of your being from the top of your head to the toes. Breathing gratitude for this day. And then the day that we're here on this beautiful planet. Breathing gratitude for each other that we can connect through the internet, no matter where we are. Breathing in some gratitude for this beautiful planet that we live on, that is in the process of healing itself as we heal ourselves in this stillness that Mother Earth has asked of us. She wants us all to take a little breather, to sit in the silence, to feel the peace that is here. Breathe deep. With gratitude, slowly open your eyes. Let's take our hands to our knees and we're just going to start with some neck rolls. So what we're gonna do is just roll your head around in a circle. Shoulders relaxed. Heart is forward, eyes closed so that you can tune in to your body and really feel being mindful. So this class is movement, which we are doing right now. Mindfulness, being mindfully connected to our body, to where we are in this moment. Meditation, calming our mind, centering our mind into the present and reverse the direction. Slow neck rolls. Inhaling down, exhaling as you roll back. You might feel some crackliness going on in the neck. Just tune in. Breathe deep. Put the smile on your face. No place we'd rather be than right here, right now. Good, and then drop the chin down to the center. Take your left hand and just take the, almost to the back of the head and drop your head over toward that left knee. So you get a stretch in the right side of the neck. Keep that right shoulder down. You can even take your right hand, push the palm toward the floor. So you really get that stretch in the right side. We carry a lot of tension in our neck and our shoulders. So let's really just allow ourselves to release and let go. Deep breath in, exhale, release. Bring your chin back to center and then roll the chin over to the right sh shoulder and then take that right hand on the top of your head and just drop it down toward that right knee. Feel that stretch and then take your left hand, palm down toward the floor, press down, feel that stretch, open it up. Breathe. Deep breaths. In through the nose, down deep into the lungs, deep into the heart. Keep 
Keep that mind quiet by focusing on the breath. Take a deep breath in. Exhale back to center and then let's look up. All right, let's inhale, shrug the shoulders up. Exhale, drop the shoulders down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, take it up. Exhale, drop it down. Let's do one more. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. And let's just roll those shoulders up and around in a backward direction. Big circles. Feel the shoulder blades slide down your back. So you inhale, shrug the shoulders up, exhale, shrug them down, or I should say relax them down. Eyes closed to tune in. Good, and relax. Let's just shake out the arms a little bit. Nice job, everybody. Okay. We're going to do some spinal flexion, moving that spine forward and back. So again, imagine a tree that's swaying in the wind. We want that spine to be fluid. So hands either on your shins or on your knees, whatever feels right. We're going to inhale, lean forward, heart forward, looking up, eyes closed, exhale, round out your back. Inhale, arch, exhale, round it out. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round it out. I'll show you the side view just so you can see. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round it out. Inhale, arch. Exhale, round it out. So just go at your pace. What feels good to you? Feel that spine move smoothly, fluidly, like water, just flowing, effortless. Your breath flowing effortless. Notice where you feel this in your body, in each direction. Tune into your body. As I always say, most of the time, we are disconnected from our body from the neck down. So let's bring our presence our awareness, our mindfulness into this amazing body. This is the only place you are on the planet, right here, anchored in your body. Your body connects you to this planet, to this beautiful place. So let's honor that, feel that flow. Couple more. Excellent, and sit tall once again. Good job, everybody. All right, now let's go ahead and take our legs out. This is where like if you need to sit on a pillow just to give you a little bit of elevation, just because just those hamstrings are often quite tight. I speak for myself, of course. My hamstrings are not my um, most flexible muscle. I, tr I work on it though. We all work on it. So we're gonna reach our arms up, inhale, and exhale, float the arms down. You may not touch your toes. Right now I can't, but usually when I continue to do this, those muscles release. Inhale, exhale, and you notice that those muscles release and you can go a little bit further. And if not, don't judge it. Just be where you are, be where your body is. Just allow it to be what it is. You inhale up, you exhale, float it down. Inhale up. Exhale, float it down. So again, just that smooth, effortless motion. Your breath is the pace setter. Big stretch through the spine as you reach up. Big stretch through the hamstrings, the back of those legs as you reach it down. Again, and wherever your hands reach, that's perfect. We're not forcing anything. Forcing actually makes our muscles and our body tense up. 
So we're learning to relax and allow, release and settle in to the movement and to this moment with no judgment. Can we do that? We have such an inner critic that loves to judge ourselves and unfortunately each other, but judgment keeps us disconnected and separate. So we can just say no to judgment and just allow and be and breathe with gratitude for our amazing body, right? And for our class this morning. Yes. Couple more. Inhale up. Exhale, float it down. Inhale up. Exhale, float it down. Awesome job. Good. Excellent. Let's just roll those shoulders out. And just shake your legs a little bit. You can even pat them out. Take your fists like little meat tenderizers and just pound out those muscles on the sides, on the top, on the inside. Give your muscles a little bit of a massage. Work out any of that tension. Woo! Excellent job. Let's go ahead. Let's bring those legs crossed once again. All right, team, this time we're gonna do some torso rotations. We're gonna take our arms out and we're gonna touch our shoulders, okay? Our back is tall, heart is forward. I want you to imagine that your spine is this steel rod. And we're gonna rotate around. So you're gonna inhale one direction, exhale the other. So inhale to the right, exhale to the left, or vice versa. But this is how it looks. Eyes closed, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So go at your pace, but tune in, feel it. Eyes closed. So you almost get into a little meditative trance. Just hold it in the center, eyes closed, tune in, take a deep breath in, hold the breath there, feel the energy, bring that energy all the way up your spine, through the heart, up to the forehead, out the crown, hold it there, hold it there, feel that energy, exhale, and release. Nice work, everybody. Let's go on to our hands and our knees, we're going to do some cat-cow. All right, so cat cow, hands right underneath those shoulders. And what we're going to do is cat cow, we're going to inhale, arch the back, tilt the tailbone up, look up. Exhale, ground it out. We tuck the tailbone underneath, we pull the abdomen in. So we inhale, arch, exhale, round it out. 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 Get that spine moving. Your pace with that breath. Yes, feel your abdominals contract as you pull that belly in. 
Feel the back stretch as you round out that back. A couple more. Excellent. All right, team. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do some hip rotations. So what I want you to do is you're going to take your hip in that cat-cow position. On all fours, you're going to rotate those hips around in a circle. Yes. Big circles opening up those hips. This is really good for those tight hips. Most of us are tight in our joints as we get older. We get more sedentary, unfortunately. Think of kids, they're running around all the time. And we're like, where do they get their energy? Because <laughs> they're not stressed, they're not worried about things. They are totally present, plugged in to the higher source all the time. So their energy is just flowing through. We have that inner child in us. And if we allow ourselves, we can tap in just like they are. Why do we love kids? Well, some people are like, I don't know if I love kids. But why are we drawn to their, their joy? Because they are plugged in. They're tuned into source energy. And as we get older, we're taught to dim that energy, to disconnect from that energy. Let's go ahead and rotate the other direction. But we can relearn how to connect as we are right now, breathing, staying in the moment, being in your body, tuning in, being mindful. Long, slow, deep breaths. Yes. Good. Doesn't that feel good on those hips? Yes. Excellent. Let's do a couple more. Fabulous job, everybody. All right, I'm going to show you the side view. We're going to now do a little bird dog action and some abdominals. So we're going to take that left arm out, thumb up, reach those fingertips out, take that opposite leg. So left arm out, right leg back. If that's a little balance issue, you can tap your toe on the floor if you need to. Otherwise, lift it, keep that leg straight, flex that foot, push through the heel, bring your abdomen in, back is strong. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, bring that elbow toward the knee. Inhale out, exhale in. 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 Nice job, everybody. Keep it going. Exhale in. Let's do four more. Inhale out, exhale in. For three, exhale in. Two, exhale in. And one. Excellent. Let's sit back into child's pose for a moment. Woo! Bow the forehead toward the floor. Big stretch through the spine. Deep breath in. Come back up to those hands and knees. Woo! Okay, so we're going to take that right arm out. Thumb up. Reach those fingertips out forward. Take that Left leg, opposite leg, flex that foot. Your, the foot that's on the floor, if we curl those toes under, we can balance a little bit more, but I'd like you to see if you can flatten those toes, okay? Makes the challenge a little bit more. Pull the abdomen in, strong abs. Good smiles on those faces, of course. We're gonna inhale forward, exhale, bring it in. Inhale forward, exhale, bring it in. Inhale forward. 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 Exhale, bring it in. Let's do four more. Inhale forward. Exhale, bring it in. Inhale forward. Exhale, bring it in. Two more. Inhale. Exhale, bring it forward. Inhale, and last one. 
Good, let's sit back, stretch it up. Woo, bow the forehead toward the floor, breathe deep. Mm-hmm, long, slow, deep breaths. Life is good. All right, let's come back up to all fours. Let's just do a down dog for a moment. Curl your toes under, spread those fingers and push that tailbone up toward the ceiling as you press your chest towards your thighs. Contract your legs, contract your quads, drop into your heels as much as you can. Relax your neck. Roll the chin, chin to shin. And then just walk out those knees. So bend one knee, drop into the other heel. Take a walk on the wild side. That's right, we're walking it out. Woo! All right, team, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna slowly walk ourselves up. Take your time, bring your hands to your feet, hang out there, and then slowly, one vertebra at a time, roll your spine up. I'm gonna adjust the camera real quickly. Good, how we doing everybody? Doing okay? Okay, so let's do, we're gonna do some squats and upper body. So let's bring those legs out, plie squats. Reach those arms forward. So we're gonna drop down, squeeze the shoulder blades. Forward, squeeze, forward, squeeze, forward, squeeze. Yes, so squeezing those shoulder blades. Good, if you have a knee issue and this doesn't really work, you can just hold and do the upper body. While you're holding, obviously, you're still working those legs. So do what feels right. Keep those elbows up shoulder height. Neck is relaxed. Good. Now, last week I had a couple of you say, oh my gosh, I'm sore. And even if you're athletic and you feel like you're moving, anytime we do different movements, it doesn't matter how fit you are, whenever you're doing different movements and you're using your body differently, your muscles are going, whoa, what's going on here? Let's take those arms up, pull them down, good. Pull them down, squeeze the back. So muscle soreness the next day or two is totally normal. That's your body adjusting, okay? Now, if you have any sharp shooting pains, that's different. Okay, if you have a pain on one side but not the other, that's something different. I always want you to reach out to me if you have any questions, okay? All right, good, squeezing the back as we bring those elbows down. Working those lats, the latissimus dorsi, that big muscle in the back. If you look at bodybuilders, they have like that upside down triangle muscle. That's what we're working. So mindfulness, bringing that connection to that part of your body, those muscles. Yes, now let's hold and let's just do a chest fly. Bring those elbows together. Squeeze the chest. Squeeze. Squeeze, inhale out, exhale, squeeze. Inhale out, exhale, squeeze. Good, and let's all of us, some of you might be holding, but let's just all hold, keep it going. Good, squeeze, 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 squeeze. Woo, do, 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 do. Woo, squeeze. Anybody feeling those legs? Yes, yes, Lisa, we are. Hello, let's do four more. Four, three, two, one. Big smiles. Come give yourselves a little round of applause. Jog it out, shake it out. What time do we got? Oh, we got some time. We're gonna do, we're gonna take it back to the floor. <sighs> we're gonna take it to the floor. And we're gonna do, continuing with our movement, mindfulness and meditation, we are gonna actually do a little chanting today. You're like, chanting, what does that mean? 
So this has nothing to do with religion or anything like that. What chanting is, is just doing it like a mantra, repeating the mantra over and over and over again. And what it does, it gets your mind calm. And what chanting does when we sing or we chant, it actually stimulates the vagus nerve. The vagus nerve is the most powerful nerve in the body. And what it is, is it is part of the parasympathetic nervous system. We have the sympathetic nervous system, which is fight or flight, which is where we are most of the time, chronic worry, stress, cortisol, okay? This parasympathetic part of our body, our nervous system is that part that's rest and relax, rest and digest. And that's the place we wanna be to stay calm, centered, grounded, especially through times like this, okay? So we're gonna, by chanting, we actually stimulate that vagus nerve. Let me just adjust it. But we're first gonna do what's called in Kundalini Yoga, breath of fire. So what it is, it's a powerful breath and we breathe from here, it's pumping the abdomen. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our hands up over our head, you're gonna take your fingers, point them up, okay? And you're gonna squeeze your elbows towards your head your back is tall and the breath of fire is breathing through the nose and pumping through the abdomen. This is how it looks and sounds. Generates a lot of heat. So we're gonna do the breath of fire for about a minute and then we're gonna start with our chanting, the same song, and we're gonna do some other movements, okay? So it's, it's, a, it's gonna challenge our minds, okay? But we're gonna change, train our minds in addition to our body, because our minds can get a little bit out of hand. Worry, fear, and we go down a road that's not very good. Hold on here. Hold on here, let me get this on my thing. Okay, hold on. It's either connecting or it's not. So let's reach those arms up, point those fingers up, so it's like, See those hands? It's like the Charlie's Angels. Back is tall. Heart is forward. I don't think it's gonna go into my Alexa. But we're gonna start our breath of fire. Eyes closed, ready? Pump that abdomen. If at any point in time you feel lightheaded or dizzy, just take a breather. It's a very powerful breath. Stay with the team. Thirty more seconds. Pun. Seconds, pump. Four, three, two, one. Take a deep breath in, arms down, inhale. Hold the energy of that breath, feel that energy go up the spine, all the way to the head, to the forehead, up the crown. Hold that breath, breathe. Hold it there. Exhale, release. Awesome job. Okay, so we're going to continue with this this time. If you can join in, I'm sorry that my Alexa isn't playing. Maybe it sounds better. I have no idea. So the chant is Hud Huddy Huddy Wa Hey Guru. What it means is the creative force lives within me. Woohoo! Basically. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our hands out and we're going to alternate. Okay? And we're gonna do this for a while, about a minute to two minutes, okay? So eyes closed, just bring those palms forcefully toward the chest, shoulder height. Wa hey guru, hud huddy huddy, if you can, let's chant along. Hud huddy huddy, wa hey guru, hud huddy huddy, wa hey guru, hud huddy huddy. Wahe Guru, the source of energy is within me. Wahoo! Hud, hu 
hari hari wahe guru har hari hari wahe guru har hari hari wahe guru har hari hari wahe guru stimulate that vagus nerve team oh yeah come on don't be shy you're at home alone well you got larry there if you're meryl so just keep pumping it out wahe guru had hari hari wahe guru had hari hari wahe guru we do this in kundalini yoga very spiritual form of yoga really connecting the mind and the body and the spirit Hidhidhi. movement mindfulness meditation anchoring grounding into your beautiful body had hari hari wahe guru had hari hari wahe guru you might be feeling this in your shoulders you might be in your mind going when is this going to end that's when we really focus that's when we really stay anchored in order to get through times like this our challenges you have to just stay in the moment stay disciplined stay focused stay determined had hari hari wahe guru had hari hari wahe guru had hari hari wahe guru had hari hari now take those arms out wide we're not done yet now both at the same time wahe guru had hari hari keep that back tall breathe deep had hari hari wahe guru what hari hari wahe guru keep those elbows shoulders high good neck is relaxed lengthen that spine keep that mind focused yes you're determined we are much stronger than we give ourselves credit for when we say i don't know how somebody got through that you'd be surprised when you have to the spirit the strength that comes through i know from my cancer experience it was as dark as it gets but you just got to stay with it stay the course Stay in the moment, one step at a time. Wahe Guru, Had Hari Hari. Wahe Guru, Had Hari Hari. Wahe Guru, Had Hari Hari. Stay with the team, Guru. Had Hari Hari. We're going to change the arms this time. Up, up, and down. I know those arms are killing you. Those shoulders. Stay with it. Wahe Guru, push up. Hari Hari. Wahe Guru. We are building our strength, not just our physical strength, but our mental strength, our spiritual strength. Stay with the team. Hari. Wahe Guru. Had Hari Hari. Wahe Guru. Had Hari Hari. Wahe Guru. Let's do one more minute, team. You can do this. Stay with me, Had Hari Hari, Wahe Guru, Had Hari Hari, Wahe Guru, the source of energy is within me, yay, Yahoo, woo, Hari, Wahe Guru, Had Hari Hari, I know those arms, I know, keep it going team, dig deep, go deep, come on, you can do this, 30 seconds, stay with it. Hey Guru, Had Hari Hari, Wahe Guru, Had Hari Hari, Wah, 15 seconds. Woo! Stay with the team. Guru, Had Hari Hari, last one up and bring it down. Oh, arms down. Let's take our hands down. Let's take a deep breath in. Bring that breath all the way up the spine, the energy all the way up to the forehead, to the crown, and hold the breath there for a moment. Keep the shoulders relaxed. Just feel that energy. Feel your heartbeat. And then exhale. Let it go. Just keep the eyes closed. And breathe slowly and deeply. Just feel your body. 
Ooh, nice work, everybody. Nice work. Okay, we're gonna finish it off. Awesome job. We're gonna finish it off with our meditation, our quiet meditation. So let's bring our hands. Let's just rub those hands together once again. Press those thumbs into the heart and let's bow the chin down. And let's just quiet ourselves. And I want you to become aware of any thoughts in your mind. Notice if you're like, when is it over? What time is it? Blah, blah, blah. All of that is your indication that you are out of the present moment. We are a society that likes to be comfortable, but we don't grow necessarily when we're comfortable unless we're really evolved. <laughs> Most of the time it takes challenging things to get us out of that comfort zone for us to look within, to look at the things that maybe we've been running around avoiding. A lot of times we are deathly afraid of our feelings, our emotions, hence our addictions. Addictions to, it can be anything obviously food, alcohol, substances. It can be to exercise. It can be to being on the computer. It can be on shopping. Basically any type of distraction that keeps us out of the present and keeps us out of the place of feeling. That's why this isolation can feel very uncomfortable because think of all the things we distract ourselves. We run from here to there and we're missing out on this moment that is right here. What can we distract ourselves with now? To sit in our stillness, to sit in those feelings of uncomfortableness is the most profound gift you can give to yourself. Because our body, our heart, and our soul is always communicating with us. But if we don't take the time to sit still, to breathe, we ignore the communication between our, ourselves and our heart our soul, our spirit. And this is how we get out of balance. This is how we get overwhelmed. This is how we experience dis-ease. And people say, well, why do I want to feel those feelings? It feels painful. Because we can only heal what we feel. So when we have the courage to sit still and feel the uncomfortableness and to tune in and to ask ourselves, where does that come from? Why is that there? We may know exactly why it's there, but we don't have to become that. Who we are is much bigger than that. Who is the self that is observing those feelings, those thoughts, your higher self, your spirit, your soul? That is who your truth is. Our feelings, our emotions are just like clouds passing in the sky. We just observe them, we feel them, and we heal them. And the more we feel and we heal, the more joy fills our heart and our soul. Let's not try and busy ourselves at this time that this earth has given us to sit still, to breathe, 
to be connected to ourselves and to each other and to our beloved planet. Let's take a few more deep breaths here. Breathing in gratitude for our heart, our mind, our body, our spirit. Breathing in gratitude for each other. And breathing in gratitude for our planet that gives us life. Breathe in that light into your body, into every cell. See that light, reach out, touch everyone else's light. Reaching out even further, surrounding the planet with light. When we heal our hearts, we heal the world. Let's take those arms, inhale the arms up. Exhale, float the arms down. Inhale up, exhale down. One more, inhale up, palms together, hands to the heart, bow the chin down. Let's take this energy of peace and let's take it into the world today, project it into the world today and let's make it a better place for you and for me and the entire human race. Thank you everybody. Thank you for joining me today for Movement, Mindfulness, and Meditation. Again, if you have any feedback, I'd love to hear it. Good, bad, the ugly. If uh, you want to join me this week, tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, various classes, go ahead and go to stateoftheheartfitness.com on my homepage. You can register if you haven't already. And thank you. And if you feel like you was called to give a donation, I totally appreciate it. Those of you who have, if you can't, it's, these are strange times, so no worries. I just want you to keep showing up, okay? Have a wonderful day. Love you all. Bye.